Welcome back to the Fanboy Cantina. In this video, we're going to take you on a virtual field trip of It's a Wrap in Burbank, California. Located on Magnolia in Burbank, It's a Wrap is a used clothing store, but it's not just any used clothing store. It has wardrobe and accessories used in various TV and movie productions. Each item has a tag and on that tag is a code marking a particular TV show or film. In addition to browsing for your own special item, you can take a look up at the various items on display. For example, here in the corner is an outfit used by Billy Crystal in the film City Slickers 2. The store has been there for decades, and accordingly, some of these exhibits are quite, quite old. I had to jog my memory about Forever Young and Spy Game. This is from California. Uh, I don't know what that outfit is on the left, but on the right, that is from A Thousand Acres. Looking at the tags, it does seem a little bit pricey. They do have sales that bring down the cost, but it does seem like a lot because it's still used clothing and you don't know if it was screen used or not. That said, the last time I was at this store was two decades ago and I wanted to share two things that I had picked up. The first item is a robe from Rush Hour 2. In Rush Hour 2, there is a fight scene that happens in a massage parlor. So I bought this Again, about two decades ago from my last visit, I bought it for $10, right? So not a bad price here. It is a light blue color. Fabric is kind of thin, but it's unique because you've got this embroidery with this Chinese design and lettering on it. And additionally, it has a production tag that says Jack Wong, patron. Apparently, this uh, actor also needed to wear slippers, which makes sense. It does have some staining on it, but it's not like I was going to wear this anyway. It was just very, very cool. I do enjoy that movie. The other item is this red t-shirt that says Crenshaw Kitchen Chinese Soul Food. So when I bought these things, I hadn't seen Rush Hour 2 yet. And so I, I got them and then I saw Rush Hour 2 later that evening. Here you can see briefly Crenshaw Kitchen shows up. I don't know if this was actually used in the screen there, but you know, it's still a cool shirt and it was just $3, so could not beat that. I would say if you're in the area and if this is your kind of thing, It's a Wrap is definitely worth a visit. Just, you know, maybe have some moderate expectations, but roll up the sleeves and look around because you might find something very special. For more information, check out their website at itsawraphollywood.com. We'll have a link in the description. Hope this was fun. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. This has been the Fanboy Cantina.